Why is it that we listen to music that we perceive to be sad? Sadness is generally seen to be negative. It's an emotional reaction to undesirable and distressing situations. But at one time or another, each of us have devoted time to consuming music that both displays and elicits in us the feeling of sadness. The tragedy paradox is the idea that while humans attempt to minimise painful experiences and sadness in everyday life, in an aesthetic context, we seem to seek them out. For Aristotle, tragic theatre was a way for the audience to initially experience, then purge negative emotions in what he called a catharsis. This shaped much of how modern psychologists approach the tragedy paradox, in that sad art can provide psychological rewards by confronting negative feelings head on. The psychologists that attempt to reconcile the paradox fall into two broad categories, cognivus and emotivus. Cognivus argue that we simply perceive the emotions in the music, which merely reminds the listener of how the emotion feels. In this way, cognivus assert that music serves as a tour guide for the listener to visit past emotions without actually feeling them. Emotivists debate that music does indeed create true emotions upon listening and that this can be beneficial in eight different ways, including understanding the emotions, experiencing the pleasure derived from expressing one's feelings and, like Aristotle, purging negative emotions. Some emotivists contend that the negative emotions felt through sad music do not create lasting sadness because the stimulus is purely aesthetic. Thus, we identify that the stimulus is not a threat and the lessened emotional response is replaced with the default feeling of pleasure that the music provides us. Such a view was supported by a study that investigated the role that the hormone prolactin plays in the enjoyment of sad music. The brain releases prolactin as a way of consoling and counteracting negative emotions. It's posited that the emotion that is felt by listening to sad music is real enough to deceive the brain into releasing this hormone. And in the absence of the true negative stimulus that it braces for, the feelings of pleasure remain. To conclude, the effect that sad music has on our emotions is that we experience feelings of pleasure. Sad music allows us to more easily digest and savour our own emotions in a healthy manner. While psychologists have yet to find a precise answer to this tragedy paradox, for now it seems that misery truly does love company.